Hello everybody, it's me Smilo here, and it's me Gray, and today we want to introduce a new friend of ours. Hello everyone, my name is Storm, and pretty sure you all already know what I am. Yep, this is our new friend Storm, and he is a rather impressively big gray wolf. And there are actually a few subspecies of gray wolf, and if I had to guess, Storm here would probably be a timber wolf. Yeah, it makes sense, Gray, because timber wolves are actually the largest species of wolf on the planet, and Storm here is a rather big wolf. If you guys want to take a closer look at Storm, go right ahead, here we go. So yeah, we'll start off with my large wolf head, you can see right here. You can see my eyes right here, kind of a yellowish in color. So yeah, you got my eyes. We got good night vision, I can tell you that for sure. So yeah, here are my good night vision eyes right here. And you can see my snout right here. Very long, narrow snout, and you can see my nose. Wolves also got a very powerful sense of smell. Yeah, I also got a mouth full of sharp teeth, great for towing into flesh. Yeah, a pack of wolves could conquer almost any prey animal. You can see my whiskers right here. And you can see that the top of my snout right here is kind of like a brownish grayish in color. Looks a little more grayish, but there's a hint of brown in there too. And then the rest of my snout is a kind of a very, very light beige color, as well as around my eyes as well, kind of a beige color around my eyes. Yeah, you can see my snout and my eyes, and then you can see my large pointed wolf ears right here. Yeah, wolves also got very great hearing. So you can see as well, the back of my ears are kind of a very light brownish grayish. And then the inside of my ears are kind of a very light beige. Yeah, you can see my other ear right here. Yeah, this one stands tall, but this one's a little bit droopy. Kind of happens with old age in wolves. So yeah, you got a good view of my wolf head here, right? And if you want to come down to right here, you can see my legs and my massive wolf paws right here. Yeah, we got very big paws right here. Yeah, good for digging and kind of act like good snowshoes when we're walking in the snow. You can see my long, sharp black claws right here. Yeah, those look pretty cool. As well as right here. Yeah, those are some pretty sharp claws right there and it's very massive paws yeah that's pretty cool and then as for the rest of me you could see the color of my fur kind of like a dark grayish yeah very dark like storm clouds so yeah and you can also kind of see a hint of brown in them i would say yeah kind of a hint of brown and so yeah most of my fur is a kind of a dark grayish with a hint of brown in it and then the rest of me, from my snout to my legs and to my underbelly, kind of a very, very, very light beige, as you can see on my underbelly right here. And then we got my back legs right here, kind of a light beige. Same massive paws with long, sharp black claws right here. So yeah, you can see this leg over here, and then you can see my other leg back here. The fluffy fur keeps us warm in frigid temperatures. And then we got my tail right here. Yeah, very long, very bushy tail right here. It's got a black tip at the end of it. So yeah, you can see my big wolf tail right here. Very big and bushy and fluffy. And then right here, let's see if you can see it. There's my Wild Republic tag right here. Yeah, it's kind of hidden in my fur, but yeah, here's proof that I'm a Wild Republic wolf plush. Very big wolf plush. Yeah, you are pretty big indeed, Storm. Very impressively massive gray wolf plush. I'm sure that you all know that Storm isn't the only jumbo-sized Wild Republic plush animal we got here. So if you notice that me, Wooly, and Gray, we are the mini Wild Republic cuddlekins. And meanwhile, my dad Silas the Sabertooth, and then Wooly's mom Madoma the Mammoth, and then of course Storm the Wolf. They are the jumbo-sized Wild Republic Cuddlekins. So yeah, we got minis, and then we got jumbos. 
And yeah, we also have medium sized Wild Republic Cuddlekin. Hopefully we can get more jumbo sized Wild Republic plush friends. And an interesting fact, Storm here is actually named after a wolf that we got to have an up close encounter with at the annual Poppies Festival at the El Paso Museum of Archaeology. Here is a picture of him from when we went from, I'd say maybe six or seven years ago. And he was absolutely majestic, very white fur. Storm was an Arctic wolf that they brought from Albuquerque and he was about 10 years old at the time we saw him. And that was probably the closest that we have ever ever been to a wolf. And yeah, our new friend Storm here may not be a white arctic wolf, but there is no more fitting or more honorable name for this great wolf here. Some might even call him the Great Alpha, and we surely have a long history of incredible experiences with wolves, some of which took place at the El Paso Zoo, where we got to witness the howling of a Mexican gray wolf pack, and the sound of their howling was beautifully haunting. They were going on forever, but we still couldn't get enough of it. It was absolutely unforgettable experience, and at times they would be wildly running around and around in their enclosure. Man, we can only imagine how fun it would be to run with the wolves. We also had another up close experience with Mexican gray wolves at the Alamogordo Zoo. One of the wolves was walking up and down along the fence, even looking at the camera. So yeah, we got very close to that wolf. It was pretty cool. Another unforgettable experience we had was when we got to drive amongst Arctic wolves at the Arizona Wildlife Park. One cool moment that we got to witness was when a wolf chased after a raven. He went right after it. The raven got away, but I hope he got the wolf's message. It was pretty unbelievable that we got to drive amongst Arctic wolves just outside our truck. And this wasn't caught on camera, but one of the wolves actually tried to pull out the plug-in cord that was on the side of our camper that we were hauling. And then of course there was a time when Gray and I got to get very very close to the exhibit of two dire wolves at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. We got very close to those extinct top dogs. And that is also where we brought history to life in New Mexico's Ice Age as well. It was also the time when Dyrus and I got to observe the skull of a timber wolf compared to the skull of a dire wolf at the UTEP College campus in El Paso, Texas. So yeah folks, wolves are absolutely beautiful creatures and we get to have a lot of cool experiences with them. And if you guys want to learn more about wolves, check out when we introduced when the arctic wolf or when we introduced blake the black wolf we shared a lot of interesting information about these majestic creatures feel free to check out the video when we introduced our wolf friend bailey and feel free to check out the video when we introduced our dire wolf friend dyrus so yeah folks feel free to check out all the incredible experiences we've had with wolves feel free to check out all the videos that we've made at the el paso zoo and feel free to check out our trip to the almogordo zoo we've had pretty cool experiences with wolves at both zoos feel free to go check out our trip to the arizona wild life park we'd really appreciate it if that video could get more attention because believe me it is absolutely incredible you do not want to miss out on it feel free to check out our trip to the new mexico museum of natural history and science and feel free to check out the video of when we went to the museum at utep and also feel free to check out our video of the el paso museum of archaeology as well yeah folks this is our new friend storm and he is a very big gray wolf we just wanted to take this time to introduce our new friend but that's it for now folks thank you for watching please be sure to like share content subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys later